What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, podcasts, and more, you're going to find it right here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. What do you think the Dodgers should do with Cody Bellinger and do you want to see Trey Turner play center field in place of Cody Bellinger when he's ready to go I want all your takes down below in the comments section and for all latest Dodgers news head over to DodgersNation.com so it was another rough day at the office for Cody Bellinger yesterday. He was batting down the seventh hole against the Diamondbacks, and he goes 0 for 5, had one strikeout, and he just looks lost at sea. He's going through it in the worst way. I was hoping yesterday the Dodgers playing the worst team in baseball. He gets a little home cooking. He's from Arizona, but it wasn't the case. He continues to struggle mightily. Now, this is a warning because this could get ugly. We're going to take a look at Cody Bellinger's numbers this year, and in the 43 games he's played since coming off the IL at the end of May. He's hitting 149, has an on-base percentage of 256. He's slugging 270, has a 526 OPS and a 32% strikeout rate. He has five home runs in that span. And then if you go and look at his last 27 games, he's slashing 104, 185, 229 with a 414 OPS, three home runs and 30 strikeouts. Then if you look at his last 500 at-bats, that's 138 games. He's slashing 216, 318, 402 with a 720 OPS, 118 strikeouts, and 22 home runs. So he's been struggling for quite some time now. So Cody Bellinger is having the worst slump of his career. And the question now is, what's wrong with Cody Bellinger? Now, I think there's a couple things in play, and I think that a lot of it has to do with him getting right physically because he had that shoulder surgery in the offseason and players will tell you Adrian Gonzalez said himself it takes you at least a year to really feel right at the plate after going through a surgery and then Andrew Friedman he was talking about how Cody Bellinger wasn't able to do his normal weight training routine during the offseason and then by the time that spring training rolled around he was finally able to get some game action by mid-March and the first thing everyone noticed was that modified stance you saw the angle of the bat looked a little different the stance was a little more open well, here's what Cody Bellinger had to say about his new stance back in spring training. I'm just playing with uh, what I feel is good for me and um, just being, I feel confident with it. So I've, I've done it in the past, um, had success with it. And I mean, to be honest, ultimately, I just feel really good with it. So like Cody said, he has used a version of it in the past, and only he knows what makes him feel comfortable, what makes him feel more confident. But the bottom line is he's not seeing the results. If you look at that strikeout rate, it's up to 27.5% this year, up from 17.3% last year. In his MVP season, that strikeout rate was at 16.4%. So more than a double-digit increase, his batting average on balls in play is currently at 189 if you look at that WRC Plus, it's at 53 right now. Major League average is 100. He's at 53. His MVP season, that number was at 162. So he's slumping in the worst way. He's colder than Rob Manfred's heart inside of an igloo. Finish and the him. Dodgers have a tough decision to make with Cody Bellinger. So what do they do with the former MVP, the former All-Star, the former Rookie of the Year when Trey Turner is ready to go in this lineup? Because Cody Bellinger. He's the center fielder. We know he's still an elite defender. There's no question about that. When you look at the range he has, his arm, there's no question. He's a top five center fielder when it comes to defense, even though he's slumping so poorly at the plate. But Trey Turner can play the outfield. Now, in his career, Trey Turner has played outfield 45 times for 45 different games. He's played at shortstop every single game this season, but he's more than capable of going out there. And I think if you're the Dodgers, at some point, 
point you have to do this because Cody Bellinger, he has three options left. You can send him down, and he needs to continue to get that swing back to where it was in 2019. If you look at that 2019 swing, you saw the balance on that front leg. You saw his weight, all the distribution, the mechanics of it. It just had a nice flow to it. Even though it was this all-or-nothing type swing, he was still able to just harness that power. And you're just not seeing the stability and the balance in his swing like we saw when he was at its best. Look at the other night when he hit a home run against the San Francisco Giants. Even though he hit one out and he ran into one, it just didn't have the nice finish like we saw when he was Pete Cody Bellinger in 2019. So they need to find out what is going on with Cody Bellinger because he doesn't look comfortable at all in the box. He looks like he's a giraffe swinging blindfolded. He looks like he's an octopus falling out of the top story of a building. He just all over the place does not look comfortable at the moment. I do think there's a lot of things that need to be figured out. I think that mechanically they need to get him right, kind of simplify his swing, kind of have a more relaxed approach where it was in 2019 where he's just getting on top of balls like you're seeing him get underneath a lot of baseballs this season and he's missing badly and then you're seeing a lot of weaker contact. Now I've heard a lot of people say he's not getting the ball in the air enough. He's actually getting the ball in the air more this year than he did last year so that's definitely not it. It's just he's not hitting it with the same power and ferocity that he was in 2019 when he looked so sure of himself in the box. So what should the Dodgers do? Like I said, he has three options. They can send him down and try to refine that swing. And I do think that would do him some good because, look, he's a guy that there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on a guy like Cody Bellinger. It does look like he's pressing, and it looks like he's trying to figure things out during the middle of a pennant run, okay? Because, look, this is the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is a team that just traded for Max Scherzer and Trey Turner. This is a team that is World Series or bust. If this was any other franchise, if Cody Bellinger was on the Rockies or the Pirates or a team like that, I'd say, hey, you put him in there. You figure this out at the big league level, but the Dodgers can ill afford to just get Cody Bellinger the at-bats if he's not going to be productive. And when you got a guy like Trey Turner, who has the positional versatility, I think you could throw him in that center field spot, or you could also put Chris Taylor there. I would also be very comfortable with seeing Chris Taylor in center field. And I've heard some of you out there saying, oh, if we have Trey Turner in center field, we're going to lose some of that balance when you got the righty-lefty matchups. Well, if you look at Trey Turner in his career, he's slashing 294, 348, 489 with an 837 OPS against right-handed pitching. So he's a guy that knows how to hit righties just about as good as anyone in the league, even though he is a right-handed batter. So I don't think they're going to lose anything there. And if you're talking about Cody Bellinger, I want to see him turn around. I hope that Cody Bellinger hits 400 for the next month and we don't have to worry about him. But I just think there's a chance you could really shake his confidence moving forward. I'm not saying he's a Chris Davis situation or anything like that. But if Cody Bellinger just continues to struggle and struggle and struggle and you keep throwing him out there and you see the frustration mounting on his face, I do think you could do more harm than good in the long run. And don't think I'm just sitting here hating on Cody Bellinger. I love me some Cody Bellinger. When he's right, he's one of the most fun players to watch in the league. I just don't want to have his confidence broken to a point where it's a big uphill climb. I want to see Cody Bellinger in there making plays in center and getting the occasional home run. I think when you're Cody Bellinger, don't worry about being 2019 belly. Give me 260 in a home run every 17 or 18 at-bats along with elite defense, I will gladly take that version of Cody Bellinger. It's just he's playing so poorly right now. He doesn't even look like a big leaguer in certain at-bats. So hopefully they can get him right. Hopefully they can make some little mechanical tweaks there. They just get him a better chance to get some hits there. But you've seen that shoulder is an issue. I don't think he's fully back as far as the hamstring is concerned. He's just been plagued by injuries this year. So there's a lot of things that are in play when you talk about the struggles of Cody Bellinger. Bellinger, but the business side of this is that the Dodgers are going for a World Series title, and they have one of the best hitters in the league, Trey Turner, coming in that can play his position. So as much as I love Cody Bellinger, this isn't Little League. Even though he was a star in the Little League World Series, you don't get a participation trophy. It's about winning ball games, and I'm focused on putting the best lineup on the field that can help the Dodgers win their ninth straight division title and hopefully back-to-back -back World Series titles. So let me know down below in the comments section what do you think the Dodgers should do with Cody Bellinger? Should they send him down? And do you want to see Trey Turner in center field? What do you think about that idea? I want all your takes down below in the comment section. And also, what do you think is wrong with Cody?
Cody Bellinger. Give me your theories down below. I'm interested in hearing all of them. But my name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to GearUp.LA. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. For latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. 